I get I get I get cold when it hits anything under 20 degrees. Never having to worry about being pulled over by a police officer in China. And that's another thing. Whenever a cop in Canada gets behind me, I get an uneasy feeling in my stomach. Here, they won't pull you over. They don't they don't want to talk to a Westerner. They don't want to have the the hardship of trying to enforce the law on a Westerner, uh, especially traffic laws. That said, those damn cameras got me three times in the first month, gave me three tickets in the first month I was driving in China. So, you know, they have their ways of dealing with us too, I guess. Uh, first one, my fault. I, uh... The air is clean. The weather is really good. The fishing is excellent. Crabbing is excellent. But there's no hustle and bustle. There's no honking of horns. There's no bike sirens going on. There's no nightclub life uh, to speak of like they have in China. There's, there's no dancing in the parks of old people. There's no sword fighting in the parks. And, and, uh, Tai Chi and, and stuff like that that you come to just expect in China as you're walking down the street. Ballroom dancing at 4 o'clock in the afternoon in the, in the park. To people at 8 o'clock in the morning playing badminton in the park. To walking down who late. Uh, it really doesn't matter. It's all of these things put together. When you go to a park in, in China, it's bustling with people. You go to a park in Canada, there are no people. People don't want to hang out in a park, you know, unless there's a special event going on. And, and so, you know, I guess what I'm saying is is the boredom of a, of a small western city compared to the, I don't know, the, the reality of life in China as a, as a person living here and, and, and thriving here, I guess, too, because hey, we do pretty good for ourselves in China. It's... it's it's one of those things that uh, simply amazes me. You know, when you feel more uh, at ease being around Chinese people than you do being around Western people. Uh, when you feel more at ease eating Chinese food than eating Western food. When you're, you're more at ease when you're drinking Chinese alcohol rather than Western alcohol. Uh, talking to Chinese people rather than Western people. Um, you know, getting around in China is easier than getting around in the Western world. Uh, jumping on an airplane, going to Shanghai might cost a couple hundred dollars. You know, uh, jumping on a train, going to Hong Kong might co cost you a couple hundred RMB, which is, you know, 40 bucks. And uh, it used to be a 14, 15 hour bus ride. Now it's a couple hours and you're in Hong Kong. Uh, you know, going downtown, well, that's five minutes on a subway. In uh, Nanaimo, where I live now, or Prince Albert, where I used to live, you didn't have all of these amenities. So, you know, life is more difficult in Canada than it is here. So, you know, the simplicity of living in China sort of gets you, and uh, it's pretty hard to go back to, to the old way of, of thinking and and uh, knowing that Canada is the old way. It doesn't have the infrastructure China does. It doesn't have the, the, the prices, the public transportation, the weather. The weather here is freaking awesome, man. I'm telling you, summer times are hot, hot, hot. Winter times aren't so cold.